this week in CAA football. Hyde Cackett, the only man lined up behind the quarterback, is over center. They'll give it off to Cackett, catch with the left, 10. He's at the 5. He is in for the touchdown. 12-yard run for Chad Cackert. Again, it's uh, basically a three-man front. The snap is back. Some protection. Now throwing. Now and he's got a completion. Down the right sideline of Scott Sicko to the 30. Down to the 20 and trapped out of bounds at the 15-yard line. So this will, at the 17, this will be a 27-yarder from just outside of the right hand, uh, left hash mark. Ball goes up. It's blocked, but it's on the way, and it still goes through. All right, Young wants the football once again. He has it. He gives it off uh, to his running back. And no, he doesn't. He keeps it himself, and he's going to go in for the score. Everybody in the place, including yours truly, thought the ball was uh, handed off to Aaron Ball, and hiding it tremendously was Antoine Young, and he's got a touchdown. Leading 10-7. to seven. Snap back. Play action by Toman. Looking, looking for the home run upfield to Sitko. He's got the catch. Touchdown! A 32-yard play right over the middle to Scott Sicko. I mean, he is so talented on another team, you'd be talking about him. First and goal, the quarterback sneak. The scrum is there at the one. They haven't put the arms up yet. The linesmen are trying to unpile it to see if it's a touchdown. It is a touchdown by R.J. Tillman. A man to his right. He throws up over the middle. Got a completion at the five down near the end zone, and it is a touchdown. A 26-yard touchdown pass to, uh, was it Caesar that uh, made the reception? It sure was. It's a 37-yard field goal attempt. Yakko has the ball on the way, and he put it through. Jellison is your running back on third down and six. Back to pass is Toman run out of the pocket. Now time looking for a home run to Sicko, and it is... Intercepted at the 23-yard line. Uh, Caesar, who's lined up as the quarterback, but Whitney's on the far side limping. Caesar's going to carry it himself. Caesar's got the uh, ball through the hole, and he's going to go the distance. Caesar's at the 20, he's at the 10, and he's in for the touchdown. Toman with the snap. Toman play action. Toman looking right side. Got to complete the signal. At the 50. Blocker in front of him to the 40. At the 30. Down the right side of the 20 and out of bounds at about the 11-yard line. This is a 35-yard attempt for Tom Manning to give New Hampshire the lead. The ball is back. It's down. The kick is up, and it is good. Wideouts on each side of the line of scrimmage. Snap back to Young. Throws to the left side, and it is intercepted by New Hampshire on the deflection and going down at the five-yard line. Thus, it's a 22-yard field goal attempt to give New Hampshire a four-point lead. We wait for the snap. It's down. It's up, and it is good. Fourth down and nine. They need one more stop right here. Two men to the right, two men to the left. Young. Once again, has the football inside the 30. Runs out of the pocket. Throws to the left. Knocked down! Knocked down by uh, Terrence Klein. And the Wildcats can start to celebrate. Our final score on homecoming day before 14,811 here at Cowell Stadium. Reads New Hampshire 28 and the Villanova Wildcats 24. We are at Bridgeport Stadium in Harrisonburg, Virginia, where the number one ranked Richmond Spiders visit the 13th ranked Dukes of James Madison. Forte is third in the conference in rushing, and on first down, Ward wants to throw. He's throwing deep, breaks it down the middle, all the way to the JMU 24 yard line. And McBride, the linebacker, in as a wing back. Handoff up the middle to Keating, touchdown. In motion is Acker. They fake it to him. He's throwing down the middle, and he has Scott Noble for the first down. Run down from behind by Darrell Hamilton, all the way at the 22-yard line. Dixon Wright will try a 47-yard field goal. His longest of the year is 37. He's 0 for 1 from this distance. Dudzik holds. Good snap. Good hold. And he drills it. Three tight ends, including the linebacker, Eric McBride. Handoff Keating, he scored the first touchdown. And he gets the second one. Does it. Makes the handoff. Looking long up the sideline. Wants McCarter. And he's got it. Was he inbounds? Touchdown. Last punt.
by Regan was nearly blocked. And it's the Warriors for a touchdown. Corwin Acker returns it for a touchdown. Now we got to start playing each other. I feel a little bit like Mike Slive in the SEC, <laughs> uh, you know, trying to watch them uh, hopefully not eliminate each other, but keep keep going. That pass was intercepted by Seth Williams. Ward wants to throw. Looks for Keating. He's got two touchdowns rushing, and now he's got one receiving. Thorpe is throwing all alone. Julius Graves. And he's docked out of bounds to stop the clock at the six with 107 remaining. Needing a touchdown to win it. Field goal won't help. Thorpe on the keeper. Scrambles. Knocked loose. He fumbled. If Richmond has it, the game will end. Richmond has the ball. Richmond wins 21-17. The Spiders go to 5-0. A warm and windy Saturday at Hempstead, New York. Comcast Sports College Football is today. It's a CAA battle between the main Black Bears and the Hofstra Pride. Receiver splits out a little farther. Same high formation behind the quarterback, Warren Smith. And play action. Something up the seam. Is it there? He's going to try it. And throwing downfield. Defender fell down. What a catch. What a catch by Tyrell Jones down at the five-yard line. Had he been there, you don't know if it would have had the same outcome. First and goal. Open man. It's right there, and it's going to be a touchdown. Julian McCall, a freshman from Jersey City. First and goal just outside the one. Session juggles the ball. Hostra's got it. Oh, my. That combination is hooked up for 31 yards on the couple of plays on this drive. Now the throw picked off. Look out. One block away. Running down the field, Jaron McMillan on third down. Williams. Nope. Smith got him. Yes, touchdown. Get some push. First and goal from the one. And diving into the end zone for the touchdown is Benjamin. Couldn't finish the deal. Third down now. Like a little movement, no flag. Probst, ducking and running, stripped of the football. It's loose, and guess who's on it? It's Dennis. Dante Dennis with the fumble recovery, the seventh turnover of the day for Hofstra. And he nails it. Christopher throwing back in the end zone. Great catch for the touchdown by Weaver. That's just two for two on fourth down. Is your ball game right here. Christopher's in trouble and he's down. Doug Alston got him and that's going to do it for the game with eight seconds left. 16-14 the final score. Main a winner here this afternoon. Now here are the rest of this weekend's football scores around the CAA. Stay with CAAsports.com for all of your stats, recaps, and highlights of this week's action in CAA football.